some play? Good morning. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and staying home. We're making rainbow noodles for sensory play. And I'm pretty sure they'll snack on them too. Step one, boil noodles. Step two, drain and rinse the noodles. Step three, add food coloring. Step four, rinse again. Step five, play and eat and play. What are we doing? Are you wondering what we're gonna do today? Yeah. Are we making the noodles inside of it? We are gonna make noodles, but we're gonna make special noodles. We're gonna make rainbow play noodles. <gasps> that we can eat? You can eat them and you can play with them. <laughs> what color is the rainbow, Janae? Purple, green, yellow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Wow, you Six. know all the colors of the rainbow? Hmm? It's impressive. Six. Are they big or small? They're gonna be pretty big. Can you help me make them different colors? Yeah! yeah. We'll help. Both. Yes, let's do it. Let's try it. I'm excited you guys busted out the ukulele. Elise is starting off the day with some reading time. She's a big fan of Beverly Cleary. I think she's read almost all of her books. Almost. Almost. This is one of the last ones you had left. Yeah. Should we check the water? Mm -hmm. See if it's ready? Yeah. Is it boiling? It is boiling. Can you guys hear it? You can hear the steam escaping. It's boiling. Should we add the noodles? Mm -hmm. Now we just wait for the noodles to finish cooking. And I learned a trick. If you put a wooden spoon on top of the pot, it doesn't boil over. I have no idea why that works, but it does. A square is just a square until you add a roof, two windows, and a door. Then it's much, much more. Did anybody else learn to test noodles by throwing them at your cabinet? I don't think they're quite done yet. Here go. Cooker. I'm a good cooker? Yeah. Thanks. Mama. It's about done. Rinse in the noodles. Are they good? Uh-huh. I want more. <laughs> yes. Slippery. So we have the colors red, yellow, Mom, green, mommy. and blue. But Mom. you can mix them if you want to. Try to mix Mama, them. Do you for everyone? Are these for everybody? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Which color do you want to do first? Red. So now we're gonna open it and we're gonna put a couple drops in here. Squeeze it in here. Oh, good job. Okay, I think that's good, let's see. And this is the really important part you can help me with. I want you to wiggle it. Wiggle it all around so everything gets red. Good job, okay, now let's zip it shut and see if you can turn them all blue. This is yellow. Caleb chose green. All right, Lise, what color are you gonna make? Purple. Elise wanted to make purple, so she's mixing red and blue. I wonder if it's gonna work. I think yeah. so. I'm ready to eat it. You're ready to eat it, but we're gonna play with it. Janae couldn't wait. Plain noodles. Isaac had to come join in the fun. He's going to attempt to make orange, which is actually, the secondary colors are kind of hard to get. So Isaac's calculated he needs a three to one ratio, three yellows to every one red. Well, this was going to be an activity for just Laura and Janae. Even Jeremy's <laughs> like, wait a minute. It's gratifying to try to get all of the noodles one color. Lisa, yours looks a little bit like worms. It's kind of disgusting. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Keep, keep working on it, keep massaging yeah, it. I think we did it. I think we got all the colors of the rainbow. Time to rinse these. <laughs> Apparently, if you don't rinse the noodles again before you play with them, then you get food coloring all over you. And so we're just going to rinse them off and try playing with them. Isn't the food coloring coming off? More? That was my concern, but apparently they say it stays. I'm feeling such a sense of accomplishment. I don't know if it's doing something new or just seeing this beautiful rainbow, but this is super cool. We have the sensory bins ready to go. You guys want to come play? So after all this, the kids are most excited about eating it. It's plain noodles. You love plain noodles, don't you? Mm -hmm. But colored ones are more exciting. They so. are more exciting. Now we're all set up for play. We thought the tongs might be fun. <laughs> Is that hard, Janae? I mean, a little. You got it. Good job. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love my shirt today. My name's Mom. Oh, I'm Lee. You're gonna try to swirl it with your fork? Yep. Janae, you're making pancakes? Yeah. 
Yum. I'm wanting to go and just spend time up there in the mud, building a little hut and fire and like escaping the home and just being there. It obviously doesn't help that I was watching some of Primitive Technology today, which is like one of the coolest YouTube channels, just some guy out in the jungle building huts and fire and making stuff. Twisting it, so pretty. It goes in the middle. There it goes in the middle. Oh, that's beautiful. I made it. You made it, I see that you made that. Elise. Elise, your artisticness never ceases to surprise me. This is awesome. How's it feel to be playing with food? I love it. So I've been a little surprised the girls are totally into eating the noodles. I knew they would nibble on a couple of them, but I didn't expect them to be more interested in eating them than playing with them. Then I looked at the clock and I felt a little bit silly. It's lunchtime. Isaac's working on math on the iPad. What are you learning? Pre-algebra. Do you like working on the iPad? I enjoy it. Caleb's doing some typing. Look at those fingers go. One of the things we do to try to make school time go smoothly at our house, again I said try, is one, to separate the kids. They're all in kind of their own space. The other thing I try to do is stagger what they're learning. And so right now I'm doing something hands-on with Laura and Janae, and so Isaac and Elise and Caleb are all doing things that I don't need to help them with. And I always try to do some family activities too, because I think sometimes if I get too focused on segmenting the kids, and like, okay, you're doing this, and you're doing this, and you're doing this, I lose the joy that comes from being together and I become very like goal oriented and like we gotta get this done, we gotta get this done instead of finding the peace and the joy in the moment. Those are some things that help us. We're gonna do some bottle flipping. Okay. Oh! Oh! One of those are gonna land. <laughs> do you know why I think it's mesmerizing? Right. Because it seems like it should be simple but it's hard. Yeah. One, two, three. It's super easy. One, One two, three. Oh, so close! Okay. Woo! <laughs> I made it! I did it! You did it? She got it! Woo! I did it! I wonder what the appropriate amount of water is supposed to be in there for water. I'm sure we could look it up. Every activity, they end up just wanting to eat or drink whatever we're doing. So we're having groceries delivered today through a delivery service, and I was telling Jeremy that we were getting groceries today, and Janae got so excited. She said, we are? We're getting groceries? And I was like, yeah. And she said, in the car? We're gonna go in the car and get groceries? And I was like, oh no, honey. Honey, the groceries are coming to us. And anyway, it's kind of heartbreaking and sad. She really wants to go places. So Caleb was just telling me about how he's feeling cooped up and kind of done with coronavirus and all of his feelings about that. And at the end, he said the cleverest thing. He said, I'm like the opposite of homesick. I'm like outside of homesick, which I thought that was super clever. Are you missing getting out and doing fun things? Yeah, like playing with friends. And it's just starting to get a little boring. Yeah. Thanks for telling me your feelings, bud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you can't even do one as weird. Whoa, whoa, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just having fun with the camera. Which leads to an important question. Do you know how to flare your nostrils? Because I do. I do. Come on, show them how to flare them. <laughs> Tonight's another crock pot dinner night. It is barbecue chicken. The crock pot is my favorite because I can put the meal in in the morning and then the craziness of the day ensues and all of a sudden at dinner time, dinner's done. So we're just having barbecue chicken and potatoes and some cooked veggies. Well, our groceries are delivered, so I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna wipe down the containers. We're going to put the produce into some soapy water and clean everything off as best we can, wash our hands, and go from there. So it feels so weird to be wiping down my groceries as I bring them in. I don't wanna be overly paranoid, but I also wanna be safe and careful right now. Jeremy and I have been reading articles about how long the virus can live on certain surfaces, and we just wanna do everything we can to protect our family. I just feel like if we're going to quarantine for a month, 
we might as well not just let the disease in from the store. So far, we've only vlogged me cleaning off chips. I promise we bought other stuff besides chips. Chips are important. It's amazing how quickly you can run out. Another interesting thing is with having seven people, we go through stuff. We go through food really food fast. Food. So did they get all of the stuff that we ordered or some? It's so hard. We're such a complex order. It's little things like I asked for one pack of corn tortillas and one pack of flour. And she said, oh, they were out of corn. So I just got you two flour. I'm like, for that makes free. sense, but it doesn't work for us because Caleb's gluten free. So we were nervous because the person who did the grocery shopping and went to pick it up was coming up against the curfew because here in Puerto Rico, after 7 PM, you are not allowed to be out on the streets. And so we were concerned she wasn't going to be able to bring it to us. Oh, she found the gluten-free flour. Yay. She told me it was out. There's some healthy stuff. Hey, there's more. See? Healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. I wanted to give a quick update on my mom and stepdad. They are doing well. Seems like they are recovering and we're so grateful for that. And we're thankful for all of your concern. Good night, Jay House out. Well, we just heard today that my mom tested positive for COVID-19. We are on lockdown. It is a serious lockdown. I actually saw in the news today that it is the strictest lockdown within the United States and its territories. Fly!